All right, YouTubers and DIYers. Um, here we have a 2009 to 2011 Honda Civic Hybrid IMA battery pack. Okay. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to read the voltages on the individual blocks. That's the uh, green and orange uh, pairs of modules. Okay. There's 11 set in here, so there's 11 blocks. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to show you the pin layout on how it flows and how you get the readings, okay, and which one's your main negative and which one's your main positive. All right, so let's get started. All right, um, first things first, always practice safety, okay? This is a high voltage system, so if you don't feel comfortable touching it without the proper equipment like the high voltage gloves and so on, don't do it. I'm not telling you guys to do this. This video is for information, informational purposes only. Um, so always practice safety. All right, um, we'll go ahead and get started. And let me show you the orange plug and the pin layout. All right, so here we go. Uh, there is 13 physical pins in here, okay? But technically the computer only requires uh, 12 it reads all 13 but only 12 is actually um, but you can what you'll need and I'll explain here shortly why okay so we'll start off with identifying which pin is the uh, high voltage negative or ground and which pin is the high voltage positive okay so right here um, this pin right here is your pin number one okay that's gonna be the uh, main negative right here okay and then this corner pin right over here on the top left it's your main positive so we should get the full reading of the battery pack right there okay like I said always practice safety don't short out your uh, probes because then you're gonna damage all kinds of things and create lots of sparks all right now let me walk you through on the pin layout and how it flows and why there's 13 when you only really need one you only need to read 12 okay so this is pin one the main ground like i was showing you okay then pin two pin three pin four pin five pin six okay six a because it's one side of the uh safety disconnect switch 6b is the other side of the safety disconnect switch okay then 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so there you go 13 pins but you need 12 pins to read 11 blocks all right so let's get started hopefully i don't block too much of the orange plug while we're probing in here all right so we're going to start off with block one because your computer reads the blocks from negative to positive all right so block one is pin one to pin two there you go that's the voltage of block one okay always follow your uh positive multimeter with your negative multimeter so wherever the red one was at that's where the negative is going to go next okay so here we go pin two to pin three okay uh, i'm trying not to block the view here As you can see uh there you go okay let me move the multimeter over here to this side maybe you guys can see it there all right um then we're gonna go to the next one there you go then the next one there you go there we go next one okay there you go all right so now if you try to do a read from 6a to 6b you're not gonna get anything like i told you it's basically the same uh pin that the computer reads all right but the reason why it needs to be there is to determine whether the disconnect switches can uh, open or close all right so i just like to move my multimeter there to the next uh to the b one 
all right and then probe in there okay next Blocking that multimeter. Okay. 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 And the last one. Okay. All right. Um, so once again um this is just for informational purposes um and here's the pin la pin pin layout again so pin one is your main uh ground or your main negative then pin two pin three pin four pin five pin six a one side of the safety disconnect switch pin six b the other side of the safety disconnect switch okay pin seven pin 8, pin 9, pin 10, pin 11, pin 12. And 12 is your main high voltage positive. All right, if anybody got any questions, comments, or concerns, um, don't hesitate to let me know, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.